Hey guys, it's Jill. Hope you're all having an amazing day. So today I'm going to be doing a fashion to figure haul. And of course, I had to do the collection with Sarah Ray Vargas. And I went ahead and I got everything that was left over in the collection <clears throat> that still was my size. So I ended up getting 10 things and spending $432.95. Will say the one thing that I'm super, super, super disappointed in, the fact that wasn't still available. I kind of shopped a little late, but the one thing I was disappointed that wasn't there when I got there, I was like, dang it, it's not there, was the Sweet Thing um, faux leather bow pencil skirt. Like, that is just, that's so me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get that. And then when I saw they didn't have my size, I was like, um, I also want to say, like, huge shout out to Fashion to Figure. Like, this stuff got here in three days, and it came FedEx. So I was very impressed with that. Like I said, I've never shot them before, so I don't have any other experience with them or their quality or anything. So this is going to be a completely, like, true review, like, brutally honest. Do I like the designs? Do I like the fabric, do I like the material, is it good quality, because these things aren't on the lower end of the spectrum when it comes to price-wise. They're kind of mid to almost high. Um, thinking kind of like torrid prices, like the satin wrap dress is $64.95. That's pretty pricey. So they're definitely not the cheapest thing. Um, this duster, $64.95. Fringe sweater dress, $69.95. So that kind of gives you an idea of the pricing. From going through the website, it seems like that's just the pretty, that's like pretty average and the norm for fashion to figure pricing. Like I said, this is my first experience ever with them. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. I have 10 items and I am super, super, super excited. I just want to say huge congratulations to Sarah Vargas because this is literally a humongous dream of mine so I'm sure it was of hers so to be able to do something like this is so amazingly huge and I know that she's just so incredibly excited and proud of herself and I'm super incredibly proud of her too so let's go ahead and get right into this into this haul I was gonna say vlog try on haul let's do this all right so I kind of took things out of the box and kind of sorted how I wanted to try things on this just came, so I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a sweater dress. Wait a minute. Because I could have sworn I already had the sweater dress. Oh, no, that's the bodysuit. Okay. That has got to be the coolest dang thing, though, to go into a store or to go onto a website and see your face and your body and everything like just there. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. We are going to try on the, <clears throat> um, let's see, these are the black jeans. I got a size 22. They feel like really good quality. The thick, oh, I like that. I like the little V in the back. That's really cool. I don't know if it's for function or design, but whatever, I like. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that it does not have on here Fashion to Figure X Sarah Ray Vargas. I'd be kind of upset about that. Like, I would want that. I mean, it doesn't even have it on the tags anywhere. Not on the tags. Not on the inside tags. Um, I don't know, but they do feel very, very, very stretchy. Three buttons, pockets. We all love our pockets. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna try this one. I forgot I need to go change my bra. But uh, this is the leopard print shirt. I wonder if all of them are like that. Yeah, it says fashion to figure. Does not have her name on there. And now that does the tag. So this was $44.95, size three. Got these in a size 22, and these were $49.95, and of course, 
there was a 25% off coupon code, so I got 25% off everything. Like I said, I almost spent, what was it? I spent almost $400. Oh, I spent $432.95. Ooh. Okay, so here's this. Um, the jeans are good. I love the way that they fit. Love the fact that they have pockets. The length, it's normal on me. I'm 5'4". So for me, I usually always have some kind of bunching on the bottom. So that's not like something that's like, uh, I mean it is, but it's something I deal with all the time. This shirt right here, I really like. It has like the eye hook thingy and it goes all the way down. So there's not buttons. It is not see-through, but as you see, these create holes all the way down. And then you also have this little tie, which I really like. And then it makes it like that. My only issue with this is this. And I can totally wear an Instagram bra or use some fashion tape. So that's not like a huge issue. And again, it's nothing against her collection whatsoever. This is just a lot of times what happens with shirts with me because I am not that voluminous up top. So yeah, this is good. Um, it's not, it's light, it's breezy, it's really good quality. I don't see strings hanging anywhere or anything like that. So I like it. I also like the little puff right here. Um, I just can see this not being for everybody. Um, here's the back. Here's the back of the jeans. You said they have nice pockets, front and back. Okay, next up is this bodysuit. I did not know that it was a sweater bodysuit, which I've personally never experienced before. Um, it's good. Like, what size did I get this in? I got this one in a size 3, by the way. Still no Sari Vargas. I wonder if she had a say in that or not. Because I'm like, once this collection's gone, like, I don't know. I just would want to have my name on, you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, the back zips up all the way completely. So I'm assuming you have to actually step into this. Am I correct on that? No, you do not have to because they still have the buttons. Really, really, really good quality. It is a full bottom. Just really, really good quality on this one. So very, very, very impressed with this. Let's see. This is a size 3, $49.95, and it literally says zebra sweater bodysuit. But let's go ahead and try it on. Okay, so here is the bodysuit. Um, it is definitely something, no, I, I, I personally cannot wear this. It's a high neck and it's just, it's, it's not tight, but the fact that this is a sweater and I already get like super hot as it is, and I live down south, so we have fairly mild winters. Like it's not gonna get cold here for us until like January. So for me, I, I just don't like this being around my neck. Um, I guess it's almost like a turtleneck without the whole little flip over, but I am here for this. Like I'm telling you, if I lived up north and I lived in like, like a colder climate and I knew that I could get a lot of use out of this, yes, like this is very unique. This is something that is very flattering. Um, you guys know I love me some black and white. This just looks really, really good, and I really am here for it. I really like it. Um, I don't. I don't want anyone to think that I'm throwing shade, and this is why it's so hard to do review like other people that are influencers or that are here on YouTube, because if you say something bad or you say something negative, you're automatically a hater. Um, like, I caught a lot of hate on when I shared my opinion on the whole Jaclyn Hill thing. And, you know, automatically when you share your opinion on something that you don't like about what they've done or 
the quality of something, you're automatically a hater. So it's definitely not the easiest to do these videos, but I want to say that I'm like very honest and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Um, and that does not make me a hater in any way. Like I would not be, if I were a hater, do you really think I'd spend almost $500 to support the girl? No. I do want to say that these jeans are just not wowing me. Like, I honestly feel like you can get quality like this at Fashion Nova for almost half the price. Like these jeans are $50. Like I can buy a pair of bombshell jeans at Torrid on sale for $50. And they to me are much better quality and I also like the fact that they have like the stretch waistband. Um, and I also like the fact that I can get them in short, regular, or tall so it can be my exact length. So not incredibly a thousand percent impressed with these jeans for the price um, again that has nothing to do with her it's just my personal opinion but this bodysuit this bodysuit is good like I said I think it's going to be very figure flattering for a lot of people and it is nice and warm and the quality is just top-notch like I said there's no strings anywhere or anything the reason why I kind of wanted to mention that with the jeans is that I'm Noticing that like when I'm unbuttoning them, there's like strings that are like attaching to the or like getting stuck on the button. So there's like strings that's like kind of hanging around the button. I'm just kind of like and then just also the feel of them, you know, but I digress and we're going to move on. I also noticed just now that these jeans don't have any belt loops. Okay, moving on. I think the rest is all dresses. Yes. So I'm going to take these jeans off. So I wanted to show you real quick about what I was talking about with the jeans. Do you guys see all those strings? My nails broke. But yeah, these strings are just kind of hanging. And again, that's not like a huge deal. But I don't know. For $50, I just, I wouldn't want strings hanging around like that. Okay, this dress right here is definitely something that has to be your style. I can tell you right now that these would totally get on my nerves. Like, just, yeah. You can you can feel them, you can feel them go up against your leg. They're just, they're just there. But, I really like it. It's really cute. And, I like the fact that everything in her collection was not black. I want to say that too, um, because I say this all the time, when it comes to plus size shopping, there's so much black everywhere and I'll like a style and I'll like something and I'm like, can I get this in a blue please? Can I get this in like a green? Can we like go off the beaten path and like add some color because not all of us plus size women just want to wear black all the time and I will be the first to admit, I love black. Love me some black clothes. Half of my closet is black, but I just want to point that out. I do like the fact that she does have a lot of color. Now, they still are darker colors, but it's still color, which is nice. So, yes, you have the fringe all the way up, and it is a ribbed sweater dress. I like the neckline. Uh, the quality is really great. Again, like no strings or anything hanging except for these. <laughs> And then it goes down to a really great length too. So it's right below my knee for me. And it's nice. It's very, very, very stretchy. So, I mean, I can see this going up to like a size 26. And I don't remember the full size range of how high the sizing goes because so much was just picked over in the collection um, when it came to sizing and stuff. I'm about to die, so I gotta put these up. Um, but yeah, good quality, love the fact that it's not black, and I love me a good sweater dress, and I just love the fact that she added these on the side. Let's see if they would get on my nerves if I had it up. Probably. <laughs> not gonna lie, it would. But it does add for a really, really cute design, and I mean, I get annoyed with bell sleeves, so I don't wear them because they're annoying, but tons of people love them, so... You would not be annoyed by this. This is a good one. Next. Oh no. Oh, this is a skirt. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. This is the set. Never mind. I was about to say, wait a minute. Okay, so this is a set, but it was sold separately. So 
size 3, size 3, shirt and skirt. The skirt was $39.95 and the shirt was $39.95. This is by far my absolute favorite out of everything that I've tried on so far. This is beautiful. The color is gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that it is off the shoulder. I love the little faux gold buttons that's on the shirt and that's on the skirt. I love the fact that even though this is cropped, you can still wear the skirt super high-waisted to where it just looks like a dress. I love that. And the reason why I love that is because she is able to satisfy a multiple, a bigger, wider range of customers and fans and consumers by doing that because this is not, this can be cropped, but it doesn't have to be. You see what I'm saying? So I'm loving that. I'm also loving the little puffy sleeves. This is exceptional quality. Very thick, very stretchy. As a matter of fact, I could have gone to down to a size 2 on the skirt. I'm glad I didn't though. I also feel I could have went down to a size 2 on the shirt, but again, I'm glad I didn't because I much prefer to have this look versus having a cropped look with the skirt. You know what I'm saying? So this is much more what I was looking for and I love this. The color is beautiful. It feels good against my skin. It's ribbed. It's thick. Great quality goes down like midi length but still kind of like pencil skirty and well it is a pencil skirt but just really sexy but in an understated way love 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 this this is by far my favorite out of everything i've tried on for sure and that's what it looks like in the back very 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 impressed i love this love it love it oh and then just everything everything is so good like this little sweatshirt material right here and then it's ribbed and it's thick and then you have like a different material up here and it stays off the shoulder and like I said if you wanted to girl you can wear it cropped you don't have to well let's not let's just pull it down a little bit more but yeah if you wanted to you can wear it cropped. So I love that she gave options to a wide, wider range of audience. Because not everyone's into crop tops and just crop tops alone. Found another thing you could do with the skirt. How cute is this? Right? If you guys know me at all, and if I ever do a collection with someone, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a lot of sleeveless or like a lot of uh, tube top stuff. I just love, love love tube top dresses so you can totally do this with the skirt as well this might not be your style but this is a great way to stretch out your buck you buy the set you can use the crop top with some jeans you can wear it as a crop top you can wear it as a as a shorter top you can wear this as a skirt you can wear it with that top you can wear it with another top or you can wear it as a strapless dress how cute is this i love this now i feel like you might need to do a little finagling with something because i feel like it's a little maybe big around here but yes girl stretch that buck stretch it Ooh, i could also see this with a duster let's try that on together because that's coming up next i am so obsessed with this with this set like if you get anything <laughs> Out of anything that I try on, if these are still available, oh my gosh, seriously, such good quality. Not even kidding. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try on this duster just because I want to pair it with this dress and see how good it's going to look. So this is the Color Block Duster 64.95 size 3. And it is olive with this beautiful black guess you call that lapel going all the way down has pockets which I'm here for 
And yes, hold on, let me go see this in the mirror. So in order to give this a little bit more shape with this dress, or with this skirt, I turn into a dress, I went ahead and I took the belt and I just kind of looped it in the back and tied it in the back. This, again, really, really, really good qualities, great pockets, the little faux buttons, so it actually even matches to go with. So you can totally also wear this duster with the skirt and the shirt, or like I said, you could totally wear it like this. So I am loving this. Yes, girl, yes. What I'm loving about this collection right now as I'm going through is the fact that she put out good basic pieces that I wouldn't, I didn't look at her collection and go, uh, she put out like good basic pieces. But now that I'm like, have it at home and I'm trying it on, I'm like, oh, you can do this with this and oh, you could do this and oh, you can do so many different things. So you're stretching your buck and that's what we all want to do. So even though it is on the more mid range to high end, higher end price range, you can totally stretch your buck with a lot of these pieces. So very impressed. You go girl. Um, this also does go all the way down to the floor. It's honestly not my favorite length, but it looked so killer on her. And she also paired it with a bodysuit that I couldn't get my hands on. I was so upset about, but I actually have a Fashion Nova one that I will throw on with those pants because I'm about to throw on the pants that go with this. I'm dying, you guys. <sighs> it's so hot. Okay. Okay, so I paired these pants with a bodysuit that I felt was similar. I don't really remember what it looks like now, but think this was similar to what she was wearing. I got this one from Fashion Nova. These pants are a size 3, $44.95, and then we already talked about this little thing, so this duster. So I have to say, again, when I was looking at the collection, I was like, I'm not going to like these, but I'm going to go ahead and get them anyways. And boy, was I wrong. First, they're very flattering. One thing I do wish and I thought was I thought these were pockets and I thought that the button was just there holding the pocket together, but they're not. They are faux pockets. Um, hold on, sorry. As you can see, I'm definitely going to have to get these hemmed because they are entirely too long, which again is normal for me. I'm 5'4", and even though I have them like hiked up pretty high, that's just that's just how it is for me. So I love these little buttons right here. I also love the fact that it's like black around here and then it goes into the beautiful olive or sage. Is this like a sage green? Olive green, sage green, whatever. But yeah, this is good. And honestly, if you pair it with this, if you pair the pants with this duster, you're not even going to need pockets in the pants. So this is really cute. I also will say I love the fact that this is like, I feel like a true 3X. I can actually close the duster. I can actually belt it like it's intended. Um, personally, it's not my favorite look, so I would definitely go back behind and tie it like this. I did not show you what the pants look like in the back, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. Yes, as you can see, like this bodysuit is complete mesh in the back, it's complete see-through. But we're not going to focus on that, we're focusing on the pants and the way they look in the back. They fit really, really well, like exceptionally well. I'm very impressed with the fit on these for sure. Minus how long they are, of course. Okay, this one I'm not a fan of like at all. I don't like the way it fits me. This is a size 2, which I was a little worried about. I was like, oh, I'm not sure if it's going to fit. It totally fits. I just, and this is not anything against the dress or Sarah. I feel like I have to keep saying that, but seriously, this is like, this happens with almost everything on me when it comes to a wrap because of my boobs and this and that. But beside that, I'm not a fan of the whole like silky vibe look because I always feel like it looks like something you'd wear in the bedroom. Um, like something that you throw on over lingerie or throw on over like a little t-shirt set or something like that, you know? So it's not my favorite look for outside. And I just, I don't think that this is flattering. 
which is weird because usually wrap dresses are usually universally flattering on every body type, but I think it's the whole silky vibe that's throwing it off for me. Um, I will say you have the elastic around, see, it totally looks like a bathrobe on me. Like, I'm just, I'm just not a fan <laughs> of this on me at all. Um, it has the little elastic right here around the wrist and it kind of billows out, which I like. But, again, not my favorite on me. Okay, and here is the last one. This is obviously zebra print, which I love, black and white. This is a size 3, $64.95. It is very chunky, very warm. I mean, it's not chunky, but it is thick and it's warm. It has like some fuzzies around the neckline and around the sleeve part. It is very billowy and kind of balloon-like which again isn't my favorite because just kind of it gets in my way like that would just get in my way if I'm doing stuff and you really can't I mean I guess no like it won't I think I need I think I would need to size down to a size two um, one thing I'm loving about this is the fact that down here is white versus being black I think that that's a really cool touch and I like that about it a lot. I'm just not a huge, huge, huge fan of the sleeves, but they are very oversized. That's the way it looks in the back. And I think it fits great. I think it looks great too. Um, like I said, I'm just not a huge fan of the sleeves, but that's me with any kind of big sleeves towards here. I like them here. But not here. Okay, so overall thoughts on the collection. Fashion to figure. I mean, it's hard for me to like <clears throat> do one or the other since this is my first experience with fashion to figure. They do have some really, really, really cute clothes. Like, I just shot the Sarah Ray Vargas collection this time around, obviously. But I will definitely shop fashion to figure again and go through more of a wide range to kind of see more of their selection. I think that they have really great clothes. The quality is great. Um, their styles are great. Super, super, super cute. As far as Sarah's collection, there were obviously things that I liked, things that I didn't. I did love the fit pretty much on everything other than the little wrap things which again that's just that's normal for me that's just me and my boob size and just the way it is not the biggest fan of the silky dress not the biggest fan of these sleeves on this dress but I do love again this whole like white lining around here and on the bottom I do love that touch and then you also have the white around here too um, jeans Honestly, not my favorite. Now, she did have some denim jeans that, well, well, those were denim. They were black. But she also had some blue denim jeans that I could not get my hands on because they were very limited in sizing. Like I said, anything that I did not pick up from this collection was because the sizing was off. I really, or the, I, they didn't have my size. I really, 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 really wanted that skirt. The, the faux leather skirt with the bow, that one was so pretty, but again, didn't have my size. And overall, with the collection, I think she did a phenomenal job. Um, I think that she kept it classy, kept it trendy, but also something that you can wear for many years. Um, I, my favorite by far, without a doubt, is the burgundy crop top with the skirt. Exceptional quality. I love the fact that you can do so many different things with it. You can wear it as a tube dress. You can throw a duster on over that and wear it, you know, make it fall and winter appropriate. You can throw on some knee highs. Killer outfit. Um, you can also take the crop top and pair it with some jeans. You can take it and pair it with another skirt. You can do so many things. And while they weren't a set, because they were sold separately, they were set together, and I also love the fact that you can either wear it as a crop or you can wear it, the, high, the skirt high-waisted, and have the shirt, just a shorter shirt and not a crop. So, 
Love, love, love the versatility with those two pieces for sure. What else did I want to say? Love the color of the duster. The duster wasn't my favorite because of the length, but other than that, exceptional quality. Same with the pants. Wasn't a huge fan of the length. Nothing against our collection. That's just how it is. With flare pants, everywhere I shop because I am 5'4". So overall, I will definitely shop fashion to figure again, and you guys will definitely see them more on my channel without a doubt. Huge, huge, huge congratulations again to Sarah Vargas. I know that this is something that has got to be something she's extremely, incredibly proud of. Kudos, exceptional job on your first line, if I'm not mistaken with um, a huge fashion company. So that is amazing. Um, I wish her much more and lots more success in the future. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have gotten your hands on this collection, let me know your thoughts down below. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys want to see more of from me. And I love you guys. If you guys are new here, please stay around. I would love to have you. Subscribe, click the notification bell so you're always notified of every single video. I try to have my videos up every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And yes, I'm here three days a week. Not always with fashion stuff though. I do also do like mommy stuff and cleaning and like motivational stuff and inspirational stuff. Like uh, cleaning around the house. All kinds of stuff. So if that's of interest of you, I would love for you to subscribe. I do at least try to have a fashion video up at least once a week though. So. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next one.